today's the day of our 14th wedding anniversary and Simon has surprised me with a three-day cruise in Martha and Boats on the Northern Broads up Popper High, beyond Potterheim and Hicklin Broads where I've always wanted to go. So we're now going to have a little family holiday time away from the boat on another boat. I'm so excited. Best wedding anniversary ever. Jocelyn M4, our new home for three nights and nearly four days exploring above the bridge at Potter Hyam. So here we are, Jocelyn Four, a nice man called Terry, has just given us our in-water trial, which I'm pleased to say I passed. And here's our nice little boat for the next three nights. We're heading off to Lathan's to get some supplies. And then we're just gonna hang out on the Northern Broads. This is too exciting. Into Latham's, we've filled up the fridge, popped in one bottle of bubbles to celebrate our anniversary later, and we're just at Potterheim. A little look through here. So, we're going to go for a little poot around and explore, and we're just down here on the map, just off the map. We're going to come over here, have a little explore around here, then come back in a bit and get some fish and chips. Just tootling away from Potter Hyam and then heading up here and I think coming up this way is Hickling, is that right Simon? Yeah, it's a Hickling Broad up here. Beautiful. Hickling Broad up here. What are you having for your dinner on the first night of our holiday? I am having chicken nuggets and chips and a sailing boat is coming by. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Really beautiful. It's for me, I'm seeing higher. Hiya. Company. And what are you having for your dinner, Simon? Sausage and chips. Jumbo sausage and chips, I believe. Yeah. And I'm having a large cotton chips. And we're on a private mooring because no one else can fit. We've used land anchors. It is beautiful. We are having a lovely time.
we're now on day two on our way to Horsey on this wonderful boat from Martham Boats and as you can see it's a lot narrower here than it is where we are on the Waveney so there's no way Mr Tim would ever get round here it's very exciting though Simon where are we going to? Um, there's this thing called the Wax and Cut which is like a ditch No way Mr. Tim would ever get in a place like this. Simon wants to have a little explore to see if we can get out there. Always one for an adventure, my husband. Way up Waxham Dyke, we got beyond the mill. What's the mill called? Uh, Bowgrave Mill. Bowgrave Mill, Simon thinks. And we met a lovely couple who are on a sailing holiday from Hunter's Yard in a nice little boat. And they gave me some sting cream because I got bit by a horsefly type creature. My leg is massive, but it looked like there was far too many weeds and it was going to get too muddy. So we've turned done the sensible thing and turned back. But we've had a little adventure this morning, which has been great. Now onwards to Horsey, and hopefully a shop to find some bite sting relief, because the stuff they gave me won't last forever. Here we are at Horsey, driven here ably by Captain Simon and Captain Nate. Captain Nate was in control today. So I'll just give you a quick tour. This is the wheelhouse. This, when I remove Simon's jacket, is where we steer the boat from as you're going along. Nate's swimming stuff drying on the front. And then you've got the foldy down bits. And this roof will roll down to make it open topped. Then we come down into the galley on this side, down towards the stern <coughs> of the boat. You see, so there's a little sink and a draining board. And there's a Simon and his coffee and then on this side we've got a cooker, a grill and a two people hub with a little bit of storage and then you open up here and we have got two sofas and then there's wood that goes in between here if you can picture it and put the wood down and then you put the other cushions on top of the wood and it makes for a very comfortable double bed very very comfy so this is the stern of the boat there was a table in here as well but we took it back to the boatyard because we weren't intending on eating any meals at the table we had everything outside because of the all months it just gave us a little bit more room now I'm going to the bow of the boat down here if you will we have a toilet and a boat shower perfectly adequate for washing yourself off while you're out on a trip and then in here we have nate and this is the bed made up and it can fold down again into the two sofas so you see the cushions in the center are the ones that come off with the wood underneath and is it comfortable nate well quite but not the best bed in the world but did you sleep all right last night yeah yeah you slept okay last night fantastic and a little bit of extra storage here and then you're back up to the wheelhouse it's as 
and it's as simple and straightforward as that really easy quite straightforward to keep on top of cleaning it while you're out nice little adequate for four we think it's a little bit like posh camping on water so to end the second night we're on Hickling Broad and it's really pretty and the moon is amazing just reflecting in the water over there so still we watched the sailing racing and now the moon's rising it's absolutely glorious and Simon's making me drink a porn star martini life is hard and what a beautiful morning it is too as the sun's risen over Hickling Broad on the third and final start of our full day on our time away having a really nice time so Simon's going to do the morning engine checks yep so that's the big review so that's some 1960s or 70s vintage engine you're a happy place with an engine <coughs> yeah what's that one you're removing first that is the weed filter and we just have to check there's no weeds in it it's clear very good we haven't had any on this trip that's amazing and then i'll just check the engine oil got oil in it so has he got enough oil in it? yeah don't know how many thousands of hires this thing's done So we've come to the end of the broads the other way from Gelderston to West Somerton. It's very beautiful. We've had a nice time. It's been an interesting navigation. A great plan for our wedding anniversary. You're a born survivor and you'll never find yourself in love. You're wise enough. I got troubles, I got sins. I'm my worst enemy, but I still got a lot to give. So I said, hey, don't you want to come? Come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? And sit by a chance, don't you want to me? Here's Potterheim Bridge, very narrow bridge, isn't it, Simon? Uh, it's very low, it's medieval. It's quite nice to watch bridges, boats go through bridges. And here comes a boat, or maybe two, that may go through this bridge. It's quite exciting. Yeah. Can't come to Potterheim without seeing boats go through bridges. We're not taking ours through because we don't need to. There's the boat. And there it goes. Beautiful manoeuvre. Lovely done.
Simon, we've been on a number of boats now in our time together. 14 years married, get us. Seems like a long time. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> but you chose to bring us on this little boat for our wedding anniversary. What do you think of this boat, our first time on it? I really like it. I mean, it's it's obviously it's smaller than our boat, but it's comfy. And uh, yeah, it's got quite a lot of character. I think it was built in the 1960s or something. Would you recommend it to other people? Yeah, definitely. Why? Just, um, I mean, it's just the nice style, all the varnished wood. There's enough stuff in here, as you say. It's more uh, kind of if you have the mindset of it's kind of posh camping, then I think you'll be fine. But, you know, the fact it's got a little toilet, a shower, two separate cabins, which was probably the crucial thing for us, so that Nate's got his own space. And yeah, we've made cups of tea and bacon and... The roof comes down, you can sit in the sun, you can sit in the shade. I, I really like it. It's a nice boat. Would you do it again? Yeah. It's been lovely coming up around here to Hickling because, I mean, there's loads of sailboats come up here because of the space for sailing, but very few sort of motor cruisers. We've never had any trouble finding a mooring. And, yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, the moonrise the last couple of nights has been amazing. So, yeah, I've enjoyed it. Happy anniversary, darling. Happy anniversary to you, Mary.